Canelo just went in again on Ryan Garcia and his work ethic. And he was about to go in on Andy Ruiz too. What's going on guys? My name is RJ. Welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and make sure we hit that like and subscribe button so we can go ahead and be into the group, into the fam. And today we're actually going to be talking about Canelo, the pound for pound king. He is back. And now we got Ellie Sec back, back with the interviews, back in the gym. And a couple of interviews came out and one mentioning Ryan Garcia and why he left. So let's get straight into the video. Boom. So in the interview, there's a few clips that came out asking about his move, you know, up the fights, his upcoming deals. But one of the things he did mention uh, or was asked was about Ryan Garcia and, and what he thought about him leaving and switching trainers. Because we all want to know Canelo's, you know, response, his opinion on, on why Ryan left. Because Canelo is such a huge impact on the sport and, and at the gym and on Ryan. Canelo was like a, like a big brother in the gym, like a mentor. He's pretty much a mentor to every a mentor to everybody in that gym you know if he sees you working out and he sees something that you can improve he's gonna go ahead and give you some tips I mean we're always seeing videos and clips of him giving tips to everybody you know we saw the clip of, of Canelo giving some tips to Pacquiao's son you can tell Canelo is a humble dude and he just wants to to give you the knowledge that he knows that he truly cares about the sport and he wants to go ahead and extend that knowledge to to other fighters and we saw that you know him extending that knowledge to to Ryan Garcia whenever he went into the gym with him now this isn't the first time that that Canelo goes in on Ryan, you know, about his work ethic and him showing up to the gym and being active. You know, he did that a few a few months ago and Ryan Garcia, he took well to it. He took that as constructive criticism, which was a good thing. And he pretty much said that, you know, he Canelo is right, that he does need to be active. So it, it was a good thing. You know, he took that as constructive criticism. Canelo did have a point that, you know, he wasn't really putting so much effort into boxing like he once used to like that old Ryan Garcia back in the garage training days like that Ryan that that Ryan that was hungry to become a champion you know we just haven't seen that uh, that hunger from him and he goes in on him again and he mentions the same thing you know like how are you gonna go ahead and you know show up to the gym a few days out of the week not taking it super serious showing up more than twice and then not showing up not, not being consistent daily in your training and even saying that sometimes hey I'm gonna show up at 12 but but then you actually show up at 2 you know stuff like like that when you're when your job is is pretty much like when your main job I'm gonna say your main job because obviously Ryan these guys they're businessmen he's a businessman he has multiple jobs as far as like promotions and his skincare company that he just started or partnered up with different stuff like that but his main job I would say is boxing like that's your that's your main job that's where like the real big money comes in because you got famous through boxing like that's how you you made your money was through boxing I, I would assume that whenever you got a fight coming up or not even a fight coming up but let like that you want to be regularly in the gym like constantly you know still in the gym maybe not as much as as, as, a, as a fight camp like you're going daily but you still want to be in the gym and we know we had, he had the injuries but even before that he wasn't being super consistent with it and i think that canelo you know obviously he saw that canelo's like always in the gym you know oh, canelo has 60 fights and he's still in the gym as as if he had only one fight you know wanting to be world champion you know he's still putting in that work and we can see that dedication of, of him constantly putting in the work you know we, we know he takes a little break off after his fights but then he really goes back into work even last year when he was super active after the fight he would take maybe a couple of weeks off and then he would step back into the gym being consistent with it and i think he goes in on ryan because he just didn't see that and not that he has to do exactly what canelo's doing but at least show up to the gym every day, you know, at, at least show up, you know, be consistent with it, be consistent with your timing. When you say you're going to show up at 12, show up at 11, you know, show that you're putting in the work, show that you're putting in the work. And of course, there's always going to be back and forth. Everybody has a reason. So Ryan Garcia just tweeted his reasoning for switching trainers. But this time he didn't take it as constructive criticism. He took it as a bit of a, almost an attack. He was saying, Canelo, you don't know the facts. This is why I left. You know, Eddie wasn't always around this and that, you know, I had told my trainer to look for, to look for another manager because you know Eddie just didn't have the time or he just wasn't around I think that if, if I'm in a gym somewhere and I got a coach I'm gonna be the one who's reaching out to them you know because again they're my coach like I can't I can't have him be at my beck and call like I need to be the one to be like hey like I'm gonna be the uh, are you gonna be here this day what days are you gonna be there or what times are you gonna be there so that way I can show up or, or make the effort to show up or hey can you go ahead and come in these days or hey if you're not gonna be there like I'm pretty sure they got assistant coaches what, what's a uh, what's something that I can work on what do you think I need to work on or just just be communicating with your coach like constantly communicating and I don't think that Ryan necessarily did that like, 
again, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just assuming that he didn't do that, that, that he wasn't constantly communicating with, with Eddie because I'm pretty sure there's always ways that you can work around it. Even, again, even if your coach, like Eddie Alvarez has so many fighters, if he has five of his fighters in the gym, he can't particularly stay with only one fighter. He can't particularly, you know, be training every single fighter that's in the gym, you know, every single day. I mean, he has to go ahead and space out that time. And I think if it's possible, if you, again, communicate with your coach and just, what can I do today? What do I need to work on a day? Like, I'm going to go ahead and work on speed. Am I going to work on power? Like, what are some combos that are going to help me in this fight coming up? Communicate ahead of time. And I don't think he did that. I think he was just, I think he was just taking it as a grain of salt. I think he was just showing up to the gym and expecting to Eddie Alvarez be at his beck and call, knowing, knowing what he needs to be doing already and him just showing up and be like, hey, what do I need to do? Okay, let's get to it. And that's it. And then just leave. I think that's what he was doing. Again, I'm not sure, but I think that's what he was doing because it feels the way he's coming off. It feels like that's, that's his attitude. He doesn't have that same mindset as he once had back in the garage training days that he was hungry for it. He was daily hours, hours in the gym. Like that hunger just doesn't seem there. I mean, he can say it all he wants, you know, on Twitter. Again, I'm a fan of Ryan Garcia. I, I'm a huge fan of this kid, but even his fans noticed that his work ethic isn't the same as it was three years ago, four years ago. I mean, being active. Yes, I know the injuries there, but being active with it, you know, calling out, wanting to fight big, like he wants to fight George Cambosis already, but he's been out of the ring. I mean, dude, you got to earn that fight. You, you got to earn that fight. Lomachenko and Devin Haney, they've been fighting. You know, they've earned the right to, to get a chance at those belts. Yes, you may, you may do bigger numbers, but you don't deserve that fight. Like you don't, you haven't earned that fight with Cambosis. It is what it is. I mean, you got to be active with it. So I think if he's active, he stays active and it shows his fans that, that he truly I think he needs to fall in love with the sport again so i think he just needs to show his fans that he's in love with the sport again be active with it fight two to three times this year i know he says he is i mean at this point you need to show it i mean the words that ryan says i, I mean we need to see it we doesn't matter no no we need to see it you know that's my opinion on the whole canelo thing uh, of him going in on on ryan and he was about to go in on andy Reeves too we're going to talk about that later but that's pretty much the end of the video let me know what you guys thought of what canelo said about ryan and what you guys think of ryan garcia and his work ethic right now do you think he's he's serious 100 serious about it again that he's 100 serious about the sport right now that he's all in or do you think he's just going about his way and just kind of showing up and kind of doing boxing like it's a nine to five thing or is he truly in love with the sport like let me know what you guys think hear your opinions about it again this is my opinion i'm not always right but this is just what i've seen and what i've noticed and i love to hear you guys thoughts so make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below make sure to like and subscribe and boom we out and boom on to the next one